Hello welcome to Best Movies channel. In this video, I introduce An Autumn Afternoon. An Autumn Afternoon is a 1962 Japanese drama film directed by Yasujiro Ozo. It stars Ozo regular Kishiryu as the patriarch of the Hirayama family who eventually realizes that he has a duty to arrange a marriage for his daughter Michiko. It was Ozo's last film. He died the following year on the day he turned 60. Today, An Autumn Afternoon is considered by many to be one of Ozo's finest works. At the end of the video, if you like the video, I will be happy you like the video and subscribe to the channel. An Autumn Afternoon belongs to a director who started his career with silent cinema, reached his peak in black and white cinema and ended his career with a color film, Yasujiro Ozo. The last shot of Ozo's last film shows this authentic Japanese, an old and lonely father who has married his son and left, now sitting alone in an empty house, probably thinking about death. Although he knows that leaving his child means that he will be left alone, he does everything so that the girl can continue her life instead of staying and taking care of him. With this film, the filmmaking career of one of the greatest directors in the history of cinema is closed. A common deep man who never married himself and took care of his mother until the end of his life. His films show a real document of the daily life of mankind. He made films to show the simplicity and sometimes even repetitiveness of life. Although he wanted to show with his films that life ends alone and that we all die one day and our survivors are left alone, he never became bitter. His films were set but not bitter. Tokyo 1962. Shuhei Hirayama is an aging widower with a 32-year-old married son, Koichi, and two unmarried children, 24-year-old daughter Michiko and 21-year-old son Kazuo. The ages of the children and what they respectively remember about their mother suggests that she died just before the end of the war perhaps in the bombing of Tokyo in 1944-45. Since his marriage, Koichi has moved out to live with his wife in a small flat, leaving Hirayama and Kazuo to be looked after by Michiko. Hirayama and five of his classmates from middle school, Kawaii, Hori, Sugai, Watanabe and Nakanishi, hold regular reunions at a restaurant called Wakamatsu Young Pine, which is owned by Sugai. They reminisce about old times and banter with each other. For example, Hori is teased about having a new young wife and asked whether he is taking pills to maintain his virility. Their old teacher of Chinese classics, Sakuma, nicknamed Hyatt in the Gourd, attends one of the reunions. We learn from a remark of his that Hirayama went from school to the Imperial Japanese Naval Academy, so would have been a career naval officer up to 1945. Sakuma has too much to drink, and when Kawaii and Hirayama take him home, they find that he has fallen on hard times and is running a cheap noodle restaurant in a working-class area. They meet his middle-aged daughter Tomoko, who missed the chance to marry when young and is now too old. Sakuma's former pupils decide to help him out with a gift of money, and Hirayama goes back to the restaurant to hand it over. While he is there, Yoshitaro Sakamoto, the owner of a small local car repair shop, comes in for a bowl of noodles and recognizes Hirayama as the captain of the ship in which he served as a petty officer during the war. 
He takes Hirayama to his favorite bar. Hirayama notices that the bar owner Keiru resembles his dead wife. Keiru puts on a recording of the patriotic song Worship March and Sakamoto marches up and down, holding a salute and singing meaningless syllables in time to the music. In a mocking version of military drill, Later, Hirayama visits the bar alone and Keiru puts the record on again. Two tipsy customers begin to parody the kind of morale-boosting radio propaganda announcements that would have been introduced by this tune during the war. Koichi borrows 50,000 yen from his father, ostensibly to buy a refrigerator but this is more than the refrigerator will cost. He plans to use the extra money to buy a set of second-hand golf clubs from his colleague Miura. His wife Akiko does not want him to do so, and says that if he is going to indulge himself like this, she will spend money on an expensive white leather handbag. Eventually, Having made her point, she relents. The gourd tells his former pupils that it is because he selfishly kept her at home to look after him that his daughter is now condemned to a lonely life as a spinster. Troubled by this, Hirayama recognizes his own selfishness in keeping Michiko at home to look after him, and decides to arrange a marriage for her. He asks Koichi to find out if Miura, whom Michiko is fond of, is interested. Unfortunately, Miura is already engaged. Koichi and Hirayama break the news to Michiko. Michiko does not react but retires to her room. Hirayama and Koichi conclude that she is not upset. But a little later Kazuo comes in and asks why Michiko is crying. Hirayama later asks Michiko if she is willing to go for a matchmaking session with the candidate Kawaii is selected. Michiko agrees. In one of the ellipses Ozo is famous for, the film next shows us Michiko being dressed in a traditional wedding kimono and headdress. She has clearly agreed to marry, but the bridegroom, and the wedding ceremony, are never shown. After the wedding, Hirayama goes to a bar with friends while Koichi, Akiko, and Kazuo wait for him at home. When he returns, drunk, Koichi and Akiko leave. Kazuo goes to bed, leaving Hirayama by himself. In the final scene, a melancholy Hirayama drunkenly sings snatches of the warship march. His last words in the film are Alone, at British film critic Peter Bradshaw said about an autumn afternoon, Yasujiro Ozo's exquisitely tender and sad final movie, An Autumn Afternoon, from 1962 is filmed in soft color. The critic must hesitate before invoking the cliché watercolor, although the final scenes are likely to be watched through a swimmy blur of tears. Ozo's great repertory player Kishiryu plays Shehei, a gentle and reticent widower, who is effectively being looked after by his beautiful, unmarried daughter, Michiko. Michiko's somewhat dopey younger brother also lives at home, expecting, like his dad, to be waited upon hand and foot, while an older brother has married and gone away. Shihei goes to a school reunion with his office chums, where the appearance of an old teacher shocks him. 
This aging schoolmaster has become a somewhat embarrassing drunk, reliant on a daughter who shows every sign of becoming an embittered spinster. Shirley heeds the warning, and embarks on the task of marrying Michiko off, in the face of her embarrassed resistance. His campaign is tragicomically painful and maladroit. Father and daughter are each set on sacrificing their happiness for each other, an impossible, zero-sum game of emotional dysfunction. Ozo shows how fragile and yet burdensome the institution of the family is. At home there is much that must be left unsaid, so characters go to bars, where tongues can be partly loosened and sorrows half drowned. The grown-up children are uneasy and resentful at Shahe's musing remark that a hostess resembles their late mother. It is a film in a superbly composed minor key. And finally, I hope you will see this movie completely and enjoy watching it. I would be happy if you could comment your opinion about this movie. Thank you.